What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great Taco Tuesday. I hope all your taco dreams came true. Today on my uh, other channel, Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo, I'm working on using multiple Mevo cameras and cooking. Today I made some white chili, some white chicken chili. It was actually really, really good. Uh, we are working on getting in shape and cooking and stuff, and so I'm doing... When, when I cook, I'm cooking live. So if you want to join in, uh, shout out to everybody that came in there. Um, definitely come in and, and, and have part of the fun. It's cooking and tailgating with Joe Boo. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy because as I listen to and, and look on Twitter and things, I don't know what to believe because... Last week, we were talking about how Kellen Moore, you know, I, I remember reading articles, of people saying, you know, uh, you know, like um, Bill Parcells was talking about Kellen Moore's offense being limited. Do you guys remember that? You remember that, right? That, you know, that, that Dak Prescott is not the best quarterback, but good enough to win with. The defense is there. And the questions were about the play calling. We, as Joe the fan, we look at it and we wonder, you know, why do we do so many comebacks and curl routes and things? You know, routes that don't have any yak, yards after completion and things. You know, and there's questions to me. It's kind of like Jason Garrett was a regular season coach much in the way that Marty Schottenheimer was. But for some reason, his sphincter muscle would always tighten up when it came to playoffs. Always tightened up when it came to playoffs. And so then you started saying, is that the guy? And I believe that Kellen Moore is kind of that way too. If you look at, and I get it, this time we ended up losing Tony Pollard. But if you look at, the two years that we had, both games were similar. We relied on the pass too much. We forget about play action. We don't do 12 personnel, things to try and help the running game and stuff. And you wonder if it's just that he's just not ready for prime time. Now, you get Skip Bayless in there talking about, oh my God, Justin Herbert, incredible talent. Like, Kellen Moore was held back by Dak Prescott. Now, all of a sudden, I guarantee that Justin Herbert's going to win a Super Bowl with Kellen Moore. Now, Kellen Moore is in a new scenery and, you know, got a great quarterback and yada, yada, yada. So we're literally getting the opposite effect. And it doesn't matter what the Cowboys do. You get the opposite effect. Now, Colin Cowherd is one of those guys that that's always killing the Cowboys. And he's always been you know, the Carson Wentz fan that I think even still right now, he's still on the Carson Wentz bandwagon. He'll say, well, he just went to dysfunctional franchises like the Colts and the Commanders. But if he goes on to a team that's got a good coach and things, he'll do wonderful things. But I will say something about Carson Wentz, and it seems like Carson Wentz is the Super Bowl quarterback maker because now you've got two teams that have had quarterbacks that, after relieving him, have become Super Bowl champions. So Washington, there's that hope. There's that hope. Okay, so much to my chagrin, because the Cowboys are always killed by everybody, was I came across this piece here by Colin Cowherd. And Colin was talking about Mike McCarthy. And, of course, I thought he was going to be killing Mike McCarthy. But I want you to listen to this because it's kind of crazy. Let's, let's listen in. Let's play blind resume and just see now how good of a coach is Mike McCarthy. So for our radio audience, I put Mike McCarthy to the left. His winning percentage is 614. Seven division titles, 11 and nine in the playoffs, and a Super Bowl win. Now, the coach that we don't have a silhouette of, Mike McCarthy, wins more division titles, on average, one more games, playoff records the same, just one fewer Super Bowl. Who's that guy? One of the five best coaches in league history, Bill Parcells. Okay. 
Hmm. One of the five, by the way, you have dinner with Sean Payton. You understand the influence of Bill Parcells. One of the great coach in my lifetime, the five best NFL Incredible coaches, coaching Belichick, tree. Uh, Bill Walsh, Parcells. Parcells never got the <coughs> intellectual credit that Bill Walsh did. One of the smartest guys that's ever coached. Okay, so let's go to the next guy. So this is Mike McCarthy. Okay, he's got a slightly less of a winning percentage than this coach, but he actually has a better playoff winning percentage than this coach, and they both have a Super Bowl. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Andy Reid. Oh, okay. What you talking about, Colin? So let's let's so play the game again. Andy Reid with this coach, same division titles, better playoff record, both with a Super Bowl, wins slightly less in the regular season, but slightly more in the playoffs. Who's this coach? That was Mike Tomlin. He's pretty good, too. Let's do it again. Let's keep playing this game, you know, because he can't coach. All those passive-aggressive shots by Aaron Rodgers at McCarthy made people believe that Aaron won despite Mike McCarthy. All right, let's go to this coach for our radio audience. Mike, oh, Pete Carroll. So Mike's got a better winning percentage, more division titles, a better playoff record, and the same amount of Super Bowl wins. He's got a better resume than Pete Carroll. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Uh, one more. One more. One more. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So this is a this is an interesting one. It's almost identical. So the yep. winning percentage. I know who this one is. McC McCarthy's got a slightly better win percentage. They both have 11 winning seasons. Mm -hmm. Now Mike has almost double the division titles. Identical playoff records. 11 and nine in both the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Who's that? John Harbaugh. It's like, wow. Okay, now, okay, Colin, you're making this thing. I don't know, Colin. You're shifting around the. I know what you're saying. Well, and McCarthy at Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that's interesting. So let's put up Mike McCarthy without Aaron Rodgers. Let's mm -hmm. take Aaron Rodgers out of it and give him a B quarterback in Cooper Rush and Andy Dalton. He won 57% of his games, three winning seasons, two division titles, and 500 in the playoffs. Now, the coach to the other side, whoo, no division titles, losing playoff record, doesn't win half his games. Who's that? Oh, that's Belichick without Brady. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's just Aaron. So he's significantly better than Belichick without Brady. He's better than Harbaugh. Pete Tomlin. Okay. You see, this is why we're crazy as cowboy fans. This is literally, we've been hearing Mike McCarthy's got to be fired. Mike McCarthy's terrible. Oh my God, he's the worst coach ever. Why did the Cowboys hire him instead of guys like Urban Meyer or, um, Damn, what's his name in Oakland? Uh, Josh McDaniels. Mike McCarthy is ass. It was only because of Aaron Rodgers that Mike McCarthy has clock management issues. He's too happy-go-lucky. He's a puppet for the Joneses. Um, that's a pretty good record and I'm old enough to remember the Jason Garrett years I'm old enough to remember the Jason Garrett years and I'm going to give you guys <laughs> I, I, why don't y'all sit down for a second here because grandpa's going to come up he's going to tell you a story here and it is 100% true. You know, there was a team out there that had a coach for four years. And in that four years, they had one losing season. Two seasons where they were in the playoffs. And that team decided, we can do better. It's not good enough. Let's fire and get rid of that guy. Let's go get one of those hot name guys, you know, that works for, you know, one of the big name coaches. 
and Matt Patricia. That guy, ooh, things he's done in New England, he's going to be the next Bill Belichick. Let's get rid of the guy who has gotten us to the playoffs twice in four years in Jim Caldwell. Jim Caldwell had one losing season. Seven and nine for the Lions. The Lions. Seven and nine. Took him to the playoffs two of four years. He got fired. Much of the way people call for Mike McCarthy to be fired. Do you know that they ain't had a winning season since? Haven't been to the playoffs. So, be cool. I know we all expect us to automatically, for whatever reason, expect us Cowboys that we're entitled. It is owed to us to get to the Super Bowl because of what we did in the past. What we did in the past means nothing today. Those guys are gone. These are the new ones. Now they have to earn it. But, hey, it doesn't matter. You can pick a side and somebody's going to agree with you. Whether Mike McCarthy is a bozo the clown or if Mike McCarthy is Bill Belichick. No wonder we are constantly fighting each other. Hope you all are having a great day. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.